Hello coders, thank you for watching this video first of all. My name is Adrian, aka Smoke on uh, different platforms like uh, Dev and Twitter. Today I will present another free product uh, built by, by our platform. Uh, it's called it in Flask and uh, it's generated on top of Atlantis Dart design. In order to use the product uh, you don't need an account on our platform, but um, you should uh, access the, um, uh, the GitHub, uh, the GitHub sources, and uh, follow the instructions listed on uh, on, uh, on this section. So let's uh, let's try to to build the product. I will take with copy paste all the all the code just to make sure all the instructions here are properly edited without any bugs. The application is simple uh, and uh, have a beautiful UI kit. Uh, okay. build a virtual environment to isolate the dependency used by this uh, by this application. This will take a few seconds. Uh, the application is really standard the MIT license so you can use it for hobby or commercial product. Comes with an SQL database uh, scripts and uh, also support. We provide support for all our products even they are free or commercial so in case you you find any issues uh, don't hesitate to contact us on discord or open an issue on, uh, directly on github because uh, we are actively actively support uh, all, all our products after the virtual environment is, is created uh, we need to activate it okay now let's install the, the dependencies after the dependencies are installed we need to, to set up the, the environment flask application flask environment both are Required by the by the Flask uh, framework. In fact, this is optional and uh, it used to, to enable the uh, the, uh, the the debugging uh, information to be showed up in in the browser when the application, let's say, uh, have a runtime uh, issue. Okay, let's set up the environment, let's enable the debugger, now let's, let's start an application with the simple command flask run and also optionally we can specify the port, let's put this one, by default it's 5000, as mentioned here in the, in the um, readme file. Now let's go to the browser, 2007, by default the, the application is uh, redirected when the user is not authenticated, the, uh, the default uh, dashboard page is not, uh, is not displayed and you are redirected to the, uh, to the login menu. Let's try to use the dark user. And of course we will get an error message because we we have no users defined let's create let's create one using the registration form test 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 apps.js of course you 
you will use your your email user created now we So, this is the dashboard, in my opinion, this is quite a beautiful design, um, crafted by Tim Kika. You can find more information in the, you can find the link to their platform in the footer. Um, let's go back to our application. So, uh, we have a lot of uh, containers here, forms. Wages, chart, chart, spark line. The application is quite nice, of course. Using the logout, you will log out from the. You will not see the the private pages. Uh, as mentioned before, the application is uh, released under the MIT license. You can use it without an account on our platform. And for support, don't, don't hesitate to, to contact us in case you have uh, any any issues. The application is also tested on Windows, Mac OS, and Unix, and should run without issues. So guys, thanks for watching, um, in case you, you want more admin dashboards, we have a dedicated section on our platform with more than 20 admin dashboards, all fully coded with database, authentication and usable UI, so feel free to grab one and use it in your project. See you guys on the next video, thank you, thank you for watching, bye.